All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Bashim Yahawa Shai, Bashim Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write desire to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And it's going to be real quick. Um, this popped up in my news feed. And, um,. I'm going to read a little bit of the article and uh, I'll bring out a couple of scriptures and I'll close out. I don't want to write this to be edifying. All right. And um, this is off of DW News from seven hours ago. It says, um, Salakia. It says, Taiwan, U.S. to bolster military exchanges amid tensions with China. Taiwan, U.S. to bolster military exchanges amid tensions with China. So basically, Taiwan and the U.S. are doing a bunch of joint military exercises, you know, and uh, in regards to um, the threat of China invading Taiwan, all right? So things are getting hot and heavy, man, okay? Beautiful times that we're living in. Uh, matter of fact, let me hit a scripture real quick. We know it. We know all these scriptures, but, you know, it's it's, it's relevant, pertinent especially for the times that we're living in and a and uh we know the thirds woe salaki we know the thirds woe will not take place until that karagma that rfid c hip is made mandatory globally all right per revelation 13 and 16 but um wars just don't happen okay things happen that leads up to wars you know the first world war just didn't happen overnight suddenly Neither did the Second World War. Uh, um, certain events played out that led up to the to the First World's War and the Second World's War. Right now, you're seeing the beginning the, the beginning stages being set for the Third War, right? Chiefly with what's going on over there in the Ukraine. That's nothing more than a proxy war between Russia and the, and NATO and the U.S. Okay. And um, all these other all these other nations are being drawn into it, all right, into this skirmish. Germany, you know, Britain, you know, all these different nations are being mustered, as the Lord said. He's mustering the host of the battle. He's stirring these nations up, you know. You know, Russia and China, Gog and Magog and, and, and Moab are clicking up, you know. These are the times that we're living in. Tensions are at an all-time high, Okay. So this is Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is past and behold, look, right? Behold means look. Woe means destruction. The second woe is past and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right. And we see it. We see it plain as day. All right. Matter of fact, I hit this one and then I'll go back to the article and I'll close out with Joel. Three, the main point is going to be in nine. This is Isaiah 13 and 4. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Lord of armies, right? Mustereth the host of the battle. And that's what you see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is doing. He's stirring these nations up, you know? Which I'm going to go into Joel chapter 3. Main point is going to be in 9, all right? It says, uh, you see the headline, it says, how will China react? You know? So it says, um, again, off of the DW News, it says, Taiwan's president, uh, how you say that? Tsai, Salak, if I butcher that, Tsai Ing Wen has said, tai, has said Taipei will boost military exchanges with the United States at a time when tensions with Beijing remain high. Tensions are at an all time high. You know? You know, we're not we're not in the time of peace. We're in a time of war. You know? We're in the we're at the door of the third's woe. Alright? 
We're at the door of Jacob's trouble. We're at the door of the hour of temptation. Our redemption is nigh. The cooperation with the U.S. has picked up pace, especially since the start of the Ukraine war and renewed concerns over the threat of an invasion from China. All right. So that's the times that we're living in, you know, we're in the times of war, wars and rumors of wars. All right. Beautiful times. Again, Revelation 11 and 4, the second woe is past and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. You know, but what we know, the first thing that's the major, the next major prophecy that we're looking for prior to that is that Karagma being made mandatory. Which were at the door of that also. They're rolling out all these CBDCs and so on and so forth, man. They're doing away with the economy. They're collapsing the global economy. Our redemption is nigh. So this is, I'm going to close out here, Joel chapter 3. The main point is a 9, right? But I'm going to start at 1. I'm going to run through it. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem... I will also gather all nations. He's mustering the host of the battle, stirring them up. Yahweh Shemayahu Shai is. He's putting an evil thought in these kings' hearts. You know. It says, "I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, because all these heathen nations had a hand in our downfall. They're ultimately all confederate with Esau, Edom. You know." They've taken crafty counsel, as it said, man. You know, they've lifted up the head, you know. I believe that's what Psalms, I think that's Psalms 83. I will also gather all, we're in this time, all right. I will also gather all nations, because it's, it's a worse, it's a world's wars coming. All right. The second will pass, the third will come if quickly. I will also gather all nations, I will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat. Over there in the Levant, the Middle East, all right, over there in the Fertile Crescent, right? And will plead with them there for my people for touching the apple of the Lord's eye. A recompense is coming. And when the Lord says plead, he means judge, he's gonna, but he's about to judge you. He's about to pour out his indignation upon you, all right? And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Yasharala, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Chattel slavery. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon and all the coast of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? You're going to pay the Lord back? The Lord don't want you. He don't want He wants your soul, man. You know, an eye for an eye. He that lives in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. We're waiting on Yahweh Shem Shai to rise up to the prey. Beautiful times that we're living in. Yea, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coast of Palestine? Will you render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Greshens that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. He's about to pay you back. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord Jehovah have spoken it. This is the main point. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles, the other heathen nations, right? Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord Yahweh. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. 
Come get ye down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. The sins of this place has reached the heavens. Now is the time, hey, that, that tab is about due, you know? It says, multitudes, multitudes, in the valley of decision, Yahweh's decision, Yahweh Shapat. For the day of the Lord Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. That's the point. A hey, beautiful times that we're living in. That's why you see more and more of these joint military dr drills. Because the tensions are at an all-time high. You know? More and more, more artillery is being, you know, shipped into uh, Ukraine from these different nations. You know? You know? You know? That's the times that we're living in. You know, ultimately, it's going to escalate, you know, to that third wolf, you know, you know, hey, you already China is about to uh, meet with Russia, you know, you know, that's the times that we're living in. These nations are, 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 um, are choosing sides, man, preparing for that third wolf, you know, beautiful times, man, beautiful time for the elect, horrific times for the two thirds of you and you heathens. All right. Keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. Keep your eyes single. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep fighting. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwam yasharallah.